So let's talk about this game a little bit. Uh, I've played 1806 and 1809. Uh, in fact, I've played 1806 twice. Um, good, as I've said in the previous little video, a good little system. And here's, uh, this is obviously an earlier title and the rules were less well developed. And so there are a couple of things that we're not going to do in this game. We're not going to be using the artillery bombardment uh, stuff because it's uh, kind of stupid. And it certainly doesn't make sense at 1600 meter hexes either to have that. I think it's kind of a hangover from, uh, from the uh, <clears throat> NLB system. And then there's this little initiative system, which at first I thought was kind of cool. And here's the, here's the deal here, right? So you have uh, chits that are given to you that you put in your hand on the left. And then these guys go in a cup on the right. And you pull out uh, a chit out of the cup for initiative. Uh, sorry, when it's your turn, you pull, see, pull one out to see what your movement rate's going to be. Right, exactly. So uh, I, what I want to do then is I, I can use one of these here to uh, conduct what they call a forced march and I can pick which one of these I want to have, uh, whether I want to have as the French an additional two movement points for the infantry and three for the cav or three for the infantry and four for the cav. And so for the British and the Prussians, I can do that. In fact, uh, I wonder if there are Prussian chits. Uh, I don't think there are. Um, I'm missing two or three little counters from this game, which is really freaking annoying since it's the second Napoleonic title I've pulled out this missing pieces. And the person that's solving this, I'll find you and we'll uh, chat. Um, now, why would I want to do that? Well, I can do it and conduct a forced march and I can move faster for that turn. And then although it's not stated in the rules, there was a note here uh, in the rules put on by a person who obviously found the errata. I haven't looked online yet. Uh, and uh, these go back in your hand and you can use them again next turn, but you can only do it two times in a row. Uh, that doesn't say that you can't use them more than twice. So you can't, just can't do it more than two times in a row. Uh, no ill effect for what would basically be, if I use this, that would be a set moving seven movement points, that'd be 40% faster and I could do it two turns in a row. See the size of the map, that's gonna make, that's gonna make a difference, uh, pretty significant difference. And there's no penalty in terms of demoralization, stragglers, there's none of those, none of those concepts. There are, there is demoralization, but it, it's so, such a naughty effect that it doesn't really, significantly change the game for you it, it affects uh it affects initiative for leaders and uh um uh, movement rates so uh it doesn't affect combat or anything like that so this is really an unusual and obviously uh, uh, a little bit of an experimental effort here and i kind of like it i like the fact that uh, that Kevin Zucker is trying to ex was trying to experiment, and I wish he had to continue to refine this because I think it's a cool idea. I just think there should be some penalties. But uh, this game really, this system in general, and the systems that he's developed in general, to me anyway, don't seem as though they penalize you really very much for anything. Uh, if you're out of supply and demoralized, you can't advance after combat. That's one of the other penalties. Uh, you know, being out of supply is like being demoralized. Same deal. Anyway, I, I've discussed this several other times, the three other times I've played this system and a couple of times that I've played NLV that I have issues with it. But uh, I do believe that this is uh, this day system does work well. These are just a couple of little uh, things, I guess, that they were trying to work out how they could bump movement rates up to... Uh, either give one side or the other a chance uh, and demonstrate the uh, the more effective command, perhaps. I, I don't know. So anyway, four and a half minutes of rambling about a couple of different things. What else? So we're not going to use the arty. There are some optional rules for Elan. We're going to use those. Uh, it's going to do some things. Uh, see, look, oh, here we go. If, force, if, if a force march and engaged, we get a negative there and... Uh, and that's not mentioned anywhere in the rules other than on the combat table. Combat table, uh, terrain chart with effects. Got to look in the rule book for that. 
it's kind of all over the place. The fonts here on this stuff, terrible, can't read it. Uh, and of course, everything's freaking sideways. So whatever, it's all good. Gonna play it, love it, later.